What's up guys, this is Pastor Canayo again. So coming up with another video. So I haven't done a video for so long, like about six months since the last video I posted on my channel. So we're going to be doing um, a lot of videos. I'm probably doing every single day, like one video about whatever, like, you know, I have, I have, I will do, like today I want to work with this. I want to do a bowl, a moving bowl. You know, how do you do this? We're going to do that. We're going to start with this project, a little project. And then uh, hopefully this can help you in your journey as a, as a web developer. Like it is something simple, easy to do it. Not too bad, you know, but we're going to learn some skills with this. Um, and also, I just want to say that we're going to be doing a lot of different things. I don't want to, I want to do tutorial. I will do tutorials. I will do projects. I will do, um, different programming languages like JavaScript, C++, uh, C Sharp, and Java. Or, but it, yeah, whatever it comes to my mind, I will do. <laughs> like, yeah, it's time to do code every day. Like, you know, I, I took a break for a while because I got this new job and that kind of keeps keep me busy. And, and I, yeah, it, th those are excuses. I just got to keep on going with this. It's fun to do tutorials and projects and all of that. Coding it, it's the place to be. Okay, but this is what we're going to be accomplished today. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so let me minimize this. Boom, I got my text editor ready. I'm using Atom, 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 whatever you call it. A-T-O-M, it's a pretty good one. I like it. Match HTML is ready. So this is where it's going to be. I just type hello so I can just know what's going on here. Hello, how are you doing? Let's save that and refresh over here. Yeah, cool. Let's get rid of this for now. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, right here. So, so we're going to be using a style inside our HTML. Okay, we're going to be using a couple divs. So we're going to do, I mean, what would it be the name? We're going to call it box. And we have another one that's going to go inside. This is for that, the box is going to be the container, like the main container, and inside is going to be the ball. Like the ball is going to be moving like we saw in, in the previous page. So, so we're going to call, it's going to be another div. We're going to be calling maybe ball or something like that. Okay. Okay. So that's where the coding starts right now. So if we can save that, and there's going to be nothing here for now. Nothing. Okay. So right here, this is a class. We're going to use a dot and box, the name. Uh, the name of the class. So now, how big do we want it? We want the width and the height. So the width is going to be, let's go to put 500 pixels. And height is going to be just the same. Is that cool? Should we do that? 500 pixels. Uh, if I save that, it will show nothing because there is nothing there. But if I give you a border, it will show the border. Should we just do two picks? Let's do solid. What color? It was green before. Let's just do green again. You know, let's just do black. Solid black. Just to see a difference. Right there. Right? Right there. It's right there. So let's give it the background to the box. Background color. What color do we do? Either yellow. Let's do... I don't know, there's different, should we just do pink? Let's do pink. Let's save that and it should give us a pink color, okay? So now, we wanna move this box into the center, right? How do we do that? So there's a few different ways to do it. So we're going to do margin. So top and bottom is going to be, uh, 100 pix, pixels, and we want to do outer. So what outer is going to do? 
is going to center in the middle of the website, I mean, or the middle of the page. Save that. Cool, bam, right there. It's not in the middle, but it's just kind of in the middle. It only has like 100 pixels from top to the bottom. And then just make it leave it on the sides, left and right. Okay. So we got our box. It's right there. So now, what else do we need? Um. So let's do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's work on the on the ball inside. Okay. Where do we put a ball? Okay, so for the ball, because we're going to be using uh, positioning, because the ball is going to be moving from left, down, top, down, up, yeah, you know, we're going to be using a uh, position for this first. Uh, we're going to use relative. So now we're going to do top. Uh, zero. Go to do, um, left zero. We're going to do a width. That means the top is going to be, it's going to be right here, right here on the top and the left. From left and top and right there is going to be the ball. So, how big do you want the ball? So, we're going to do a hundred pixels. Hi, we're going to do another 100 pixels. Uh, let's do the color, background color. Let's do the background color, let's do red. Okay. We're going to have a ball right in the middle. Oh, uh oh, where is it? Oh yeah, I did it wrong, I did it wrong. There is something wrong right there. I put a double O. Let's save that. And Oh, right there. It's still a squares because I didn't use, I didn't use the uh, border radius yet, which is going to be our next step. Border radius, which is uh, fifty percent. So that should make our ball right there. Pan right there. Nice. So this is right there in zero top and zero left, right? Now, now we want to create an animation. You know, we want to move this ball to here, down, left, up. So how do we accomplish that? We accomplish that through animation. We're using, we're going to be using animations. So we're going to be calling this, we're going to give it a name of movie. We want two seconds. It's going to be linear. One linear speed. Infinite, which means it's going to be moving, going, going, going. It will never stop. Okay. If we, if we try to do something with this, uh, it wouldn't do anything. Yeah, refresh it again, nothing. Because we gotta give you some values to that one. So we're going to use a keyframe. Okay. To use keyframe. Keyframes, what is the name? Moving. Okay. We're right there. So we're going to be using 0%. Uh, brackets so what we got right here so we're going to we want top it's going to start the zero right and then it's going to go left still zero and then um, yeah and that should be eating this one okay now let's go to 25 percent what's what what do we want to have in 25 percent i want 25 percent to be the top still it's going to be a zero and then from left i want to go to 400 pixels okay 
and I want this to change the background, I want the background to change color. Look at that, it's going to be, let's do cyan, cyan color. Let's save it. Let's see, refresh that. Nice, it's going there, see? It's going there, cool. Uh, now, that's happening at 25%, from zero to 25%. Now we gotta go to 50%. So what do you wanna do? What do you wanna accomplish here? We wanna top, we want to be 400 pixels. Okay. From the top, we want 400 pixels to go. And then we want left to go zero. No. No, I am so wrong with this one. We want to go to 400 pixels too. So in a way, E will run really good. We want the background to be, what color we want? Let's just do green. Something simple, okay? Let's save that. It's going to go down. It's going to change the color to green. It has to go from here down. Uh-huh, nice. So right here is going because it's infinite, right? It's going back to the first step to the zero percent, which is top zero and left top zero and left zero. So it goes right here and goes back there. All right. So what's the next one? The next value that we want. Let's go. Let's go do 75 75 percent. So basically, let's just copy all of this. So to save some time. Copy, let's paste it. So right here, we're going to change these values. We're going to do 400 from the top. At 75, we want 400, and then we want left is going to be zero. Let's change that. And then in the background, we want, uh, let's, what color do we do? Let's just do yellow. We're just changing this. Okay, so from here is going down right now. From here is going to go to the left right here. It's going to be yellow. Nice, see, it's going yellow. So it's going back here to the top again. But let's fix that. Let's just change that over here. From here to here, I want it to be colored black. See, it's been just red. So let's go to do a hundred percent. So. So from the top, we want zero. And then we want left, we want zero too. And then right here, we want black. Let's see. Mm, oh yeah, nice. See, cyan, what is cyan, green, yellow, black, see? I'm just looking at it. Nice. So basically, this is the whole tutorial, guys. So hopefully, this helped you out so much. This was a moving ball with CSS animation. So hopefully, you guys like the tutorial. If you like it, just give it a like. Subscribe to the channel. We're going to be putting a video every day. Maybe one video, two videos. We're going to do the easy, the hardest stuff. Like, you know, whatever it comes in my mind, we're going to do it just to keep the flow of coding every day. Cool. All right, guys, have a good night and hoping to see you next video. Thanks, good night, bye-bye.